Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to revisit an old topic. I haven't touched on this in quite some time. I've seen this now for the better part of 10 or 12 years, and I've always associated it with the camera being overwhelmed by the direct sunlight associated with the view of the sun and the camera recording the sun. And usually you can find these on cloud cams, but they've been showing up here in other places. As we see over here at Mary Hall's YouTube, channel she's got an entire inventory of earth sky videos very good videos from all around the world including from above the earth via the international space station but i want to focus on some of the videos she's got of this mysterious black dot here's one from switzerland this is a video she took of the black dot she noticed from a camera over in switzerland there are no odd reflections or anything like that showing the black dot somewhere else but she does have some videos that do show the black dot appearing in places where honestly it really shouldn't be there we're going to come back and take a closer look at those videos here in a moment also in this video i've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photo sent in from all around the world but back to this mysterious black dot here's a still image from a video she took over in switzerland as the sun was setting this is a time lapse in fact most of these that you'll find here are time lapse i want to focus on a video she did of the black dot march of 2021 video from Italy. What you're looking at is the black dot in a reflection. And as we all know, black does not have reflective qualities. So in order for that black dot to be there, it literally had to be in front of the sun. Again, black does not reflect. It had to have been blocking the sunlight and that would be the light coming from the sun showing up over here on the reflective housing of this camera. The camera is going to zoom up now and you're going to see the black dot in front of the sun in the sky. This is a reflection of the sun on the housing that encases the camera. Now it zooms up into the sky. There's the black dot that we've seen, and that's not the first time we've seen that. Many, many times over the course of, like I said, a decade, if not longer, there it is. But what it's doing, it's blocking sunlight. It's not reflecting. Black doesn't reflect. And this is the video looking up in the sky at the sun. Here they are side by side. Here's the sky view on the right, the reflection on the left. Got to be honest, in all of the years that I've seen this, I've never seen it appear in a reflection. We all know that black does not reflect, black absorbs light. That's why, for instance, here's a prime example, a black car will get much hotter in the direct sunlight than a white car, simply because black absorbs the radiant heat of the sun and the sunlight in the form of radiation and energy and the black car gets hot. This is not possible, it's not a reflection, it's something in front of the sun that's blocking the view of the light and the transfer of light from the sun to the camera. Here's another view and another example in a video of the black dot in front of the sun. This is from Sweden in the northern hemisphere. She's also got videos from New Zealand of the same thing. But what's unique here is she's pointing out in her video their reflection, if you want to call it that. It's not really a reflection because again black does not reflect. It's showing up down here in the water. The black dot. See it's showing up in the water? That's a direct reflection of the sunlight on the lake. The black dot should not be there, but it is. And that's not reflecting off of the housing, that's reflecting off of the water, and the camera is picking up the reflection off of the water. However, something is interfering with the light transfer from the sun in the sky to the camera, and it's showing up in the form of a black dot. So how it's showing up in the reflection on the water, I don't know because I've never seen that before in over 12 years of seeing this thing off and on in different locations around the world. I've never seen it appear in a reflection. So it looks like to me, maybe this thing, whatever it is, could be getting stronger. Maybe there is something in front of the sun from time to time that's absorbing light, not necessarily letting light 
come all the way into the camera from this location, it's absorbing light, not reflecting light. Because remember, black does not reflect. So whatever this is, maybe it's getting stronger. I don't know. And as she pointed out in this video, looks like energy moving around this black dot, whatever it may or may not be. I don't know. I've always thought it was oversaturation from the direct sunlight and how the camera manages the sunlight. But how it manages the sunlight for that to occur is optically impossible. I don't think that's even possible for that to reflect down in the water unless it was there. So just the way I'm interpreting that, I'm still kind of thinking on how that even occurred to begin with. And that one, like this one here over in Italy, it showed up in the reflection, which is a first. And it was a first for Mary too, who looks at videos and monitors the earth like a hawk all day long, every day. And she had never seen that either. And I wanted to point that out. Um, she found that over here about three weeks ago and she shared it on her YouTube channel. You can come over and check out all of her videos at the link provided below in the description box. So, so once again, that mysterious black dot, whatever that is showing up in videos, is now showing up in reflections of the sunlight, which technically is kind of impossible. Good observation once again by Mary Hall out of Michigan. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow and videos sent in from all around the world. Taking a look at Jupiter up close. Video sent in by Jay from South Florida. This is a rare view of a gas giant up close. He has an incredible telescope that's about as big as my car. He zoomed in on Jupiter here a few days ago. We can see the very distinct lines of Jupiter. I don't see the, the red spot. Maybe it was on the other side of the planet or something, but that is a spectacular view of the king of the night sky, the largest planet in the known solar system, Jupiter. Video sent in by Jay of South Florida excellent video. Leon, Victoria, Australia, noticed what looked like a dark craft hovering in the sky, very low to the ground above Victoria, Australia. Photo here sent in by Venus L out of Amarillo, Texas. Looked like a fiery object falling through the sky. There's one view and here's yet another view of the same object from Amarillo, Texas. Kyle K noticed this very unique cloud above Prescott, Arizona. Double Decker Rainbow video sent in by Jeff Jessica L, not exactly sure of the location, but that is one super cool video. Excellent observation. She also took these photos of an ominous looking sky at sunset. Very dark clouds, mammatus clouds, and a bright fiery orange sun. Photo here of a big jumbo halo sent in by Martin C, who noticed this in the sky. Another jumbo halo sent in by Lesnia G out of Puerto Rico. Might have been the same one. Lena M, photo sent in from the Irish Sea. Got some dark clouds on the right, some bright white on the left. Woodruff, South Carolina, photo sent in by Paul of a fiery orange sky, creating the water in the swimming pool to look also like a fiery orange. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.